Hey everybody, um, this is Kira here, and this week I'm just doing my 29 week update. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe that next week I will be 30 weeks. Like, my last 10 weeks with my little Isaiah in my tummy, like, oh, thank God that I made it this far. You know, I'm too excited for September. Cannot wait. But anyways... Let me go ahead and jump right on into it because I have to go somewhere today. So it's Friday. You know how us girls are we like to shop and stuff on Fridays. I'm just going to my boyfriend's house. But any of you, let me go ahead and get started. Um, this week Isaiah weighs about two and a half pounds. Um, I think that's like the same as last. I don't know if Isaiah weighs this much because last time I had my ultrasound at 27 weeks, I think that was. Yeah, 27 weeks. Um, he weighed two and a half. He weighed around two and a half then. So I don't know if he's gotten bigger or what, but I have been eating and I've been taking my DHA vitamins and my um, prenatal. So I'm guessing he's going. Um. His muscle, his muscles and his lungs are continuing to mature, and his head is growing bigger to make room for that brain development. Um, it says that I'll need pretty plenty of protein, vitamin C, folic acid, and iron. But I'm getting all of that, so um, that's basically it for Isaiah, and he's about 15 inches long from head to toe. So yeah, about like a butternut squash. Um, I'll show you guys what that looks like because I have never heard of that in my life. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, butternut squash. So it's pretty big. That's pretty long. Seems like. Um. Anyways, for my symptoms, I have been having heartburn tremendously. Oh my gosh, like. Oh, uh, it is so annoying. Actually, I don't know if it's heartburn. I just burp a lot. Like, I don't know if that's too much info for you guys, but I burp all the time. It's ridiculous. Like, I don't know. It's horrible, though. Like, I'll be talking, and then I'll just burp. Not like a guy or anything, but it's weird. Um, let me think. Any other symptoms, Kira? I didn't write anything down in my phone. I know how sucky of me, but I didn't do it. Um, that's basically all that I've had for symptoms. Um, he doesn't really, like I told you guys last week, he does not do kicks anymore. Like, Isaiah's done with kicking. He rolls. Like, I'll feel like, boom, go across my stomach at night time. And it's, and it's cool. It's cool and funny and all that, but you know, it's, just different, like it's a weird feeling. <laughs> I like it though. I like it. I'd rather him move than not move, and I'd be worried all the time. So he's super active. He's super active, and you know how they say that the baby keeps the same schedule. Well, hopefully Isaiah doesn't, because he's up at night time, and that was because I have school. Speaking of school, I started school. I don't know if I ever told you guys that, but um, I was watching um Sarah's videos or whatever. And um, her name is Sarah. She goes by Strong Mom, Strong Teen Mom 12, 12, I think that's what her name is on here. But um, I was watching her video, and she was talking about how she started college, and I'm so proud of her. Like, I watched her graduation video and everything. So, Sarah, if you're watching this, thumbs up, girl, because we're showing them. We're showing them that we can, that, you know, as a teen mom, that we can do it. Like, there are going to be obstacles. Yeah, it's going to be harder, but you can still go to college. And this is weird because we're majoring in the same thing. I'm majoring in psychology, and you're majoring in psychology. And um, I'm not in psychology beginners or whatever you said you were in, but um, I'm in the regular psychology, and it's so fun. Like, um, it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. So good luck to you, girl, and um, I'll be praying for you. But anywho, all the team moms out there, all the regular moms out there, all the young moms, whatever. And keep going with your life. Push, push, push. Yes, it's gonna be harder, but you know, we can do it. And we gotta show we gotta show society that, you know, just because we're young, that don't mean that doesn't mean that 
we're going to be bad parents, okay? Anywho, I went off topic a little bit. Um, I'm going to do my belly shot. I don't think I'm missing anything. I do have an appointment next week at the doctor, so whenever I do my third week, I'll let you know how that went. Um, I'm good on my glucose test, I think, because they haven't, they haven't said anything back to me yet, so I think hoping and praying that I pass that. And let me go ahead and do my belly shot, and then I got to roll out, okay? Hope you guys have a good Friday. Oh, I recorded this on Friday the 13th, too, so. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I am silly. Okay. This is the side. The other side. I don't think I'm going to, I don't really see the point of doing front belly shots, but. Front. Other side, and I'm just going to measure. Okay, I'm still about 39 inches. Yeah, guys. I'm still about 39 inches, so um, nothing's really changed. But thanks for watching. I will see you guys for my 30-week update. Be blessed and not stressed. Bye.